Hey guys, it's Erwin Brian here. Today we're going to take a look at this three relay fuse block that we offer. We're also going to take a look at the instructions and hopefully we're going to give you guys some tips and insight on how to hook this thing up. So it's very easy with about three wires you can get your car running. Now this would be used in like a universal application, you know, an older vehicle, strip chassis. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look at these flying leads. So this guy is your start signal. So this is only going to be active when your key is in the cranking position or if you're using a push button when the button's being pushed. Now, where's our ignition turn on here? All right. So this is our ignition turn on. What this does is it turns on the ignition relay located here in the fuse block. Now this is what's gonna give your harness power. So this wire is very important. This needs to be 12 volts with your key on, and it also needs to continue to have 12 volts while you're cranking with this wire. So it can't be something in the accessory position. It has to be something in the on position of your key or a toggle switch, depending on what kind of setup you're running. But it's very important that it continues to have 12 volts when starting or the car definitely won't start. We've put a nice little check engine light here for you. So it's just an LED and it'll illuminate if you have a check engine light issue. Now, some of the other common questions that we get are dealing with speed and dealing with reverse lamps. So these are two pairs of wires in the harness. Now these are kind of a pass through. So this will go directly to the speed sensor on your transmission. Now it's a reluctor style speed sensor in most cases. So one of these wires is going to be grounded and the other wire is going to be your signal. Now similar concept with reverse it's a pass-through setup so these are going to end up directly at your reverse switch so what you're going to want to do is one of these wires is going to have 12 volt with the key on then the other wire is going to go out to your reverse lamps or a relay for your reverse lamps in the car that'll turn the reverse lamps on uh, the fan trigger here most of these will be hooked up to ecus if it's not hooked up to an ECU, depending on what type of ECU you have, some of the stock Jay-Z ECUs don't have fan triggers, this is a ground switch. So if you want to hook it up to your dash or you want to hook it up to another fan switch, the opposite side of that switch is going to have to be ground. So when this wire is grounded, it's going to turn our fan relay on here, and that's going to then power this wire here that will turn your fan on. We've got AC relay and AC switch. So these ones are a little bit more in depth. Depends on what type of ECU you're running, but on most of the JDM applications, AC switch will be a ground input, which will go to the ECU. The ECU will then allow permission, which is going to go out to your AC relay. Now you have to keep in mind that the AC system the relay has to have a secondary safety. So it's gonna to have to go through pressure switches. That way you can't overpressurize the system and potentially damage or explode the AC compressor. So we've covered a lot of our basics here. <clears throat> alternator light. This one's gonna hook up to the alternator lamp on your dashboard. The opposite side of the alternator lamp is going to be 12 volt with the key on. Um, other things we've done is hooked up resistors instead of the lamp. We've got more information on that and some of our instructions. And then some of the other stuff, oil pressure, again, it's a pass-through. You can use it with a single wire gauge. We've got tachometer. That's exactly what it is. It's output to your tachometer in your dashboard. And we also have temp, which is going to be the same thing as the oil pressure, single wire for use with a gauge. But hopefully that'll help you guys with any questions you're having while installing these and make a little bit nicer and easier for you to, to go through.